what do you think about that? Because it's a very hot topic in the Chinese wine market. So, so I worked in the Chinese market for two years. Uh, mm. When I was in Australia, my responsibility was also uh, exporting wine to China. This was prior okay. to prior to the tariffs coming into play. So I made routine trips there. Uh, mm. I, I think there's a good number of retailers there that are really uh, quite advanced. Um, it's interesting working with the buying teams there. Uh, they they did their homework. You know, when they came into meetings, they had lots of questions and they just seemed to almost soak that in. So I think the learning curve is really quite sharp. Uh, one of the concerning areas that I see in that market, I mean, first you have this, you have more of an evolving uh, class of people that see wine as uh, it's a prestige item. You know, okay. it's something that, you know, it like elevates the lifestyle. So it has that, that appeal to it. Uh, and that segment of the population is, is really quite significant. But the concerning part of it is, is the amount of counterfeit wine. It's mind blowing. Mm. And, yeah. uh, you know, so you really need to be aware of what you're buying. Uh, you know, if you're a consumer there, uh, you know, there's there's the possibility that you know, counterfeit can become a problem. Um, you know, I don't know how that that's actually fixed, uh, but yeah, there was there was a high degree of, of counterfeit wine. And a lot of this is at the very high level. Of course, that's what that's when it's worth it for the for the criminals. Yeah, absolutely, it. absolutely. Yeah, the counterfeit market is is a very tough challenge, and and we talked about this uh, with Perry, uh, mm -hmm. the wine lobbyist, and I <laughs> we concluded that there is no good solution, unfortunately. Prevent, preventing this or like uh, stopping the counterfeit market the only thing that we can do to to buy from from uh, renowned sellers or or places that are trusted yeah absolutely i mean there are some basic safeguards that can be put into play uh it, it's not a hundred percent guarantee yeah. so yeah it's always it's always fraught with some risk of course of course but but still the chinese market is very interesting and uh, a new and uh, unpredictable situation it's a interesting match because it wasn't a, a really uh, a product in uh, the chinese culture just in the last few decades uh, blew up and it's a very interesting uh, tendency and all the trends and now actually i never i never tasted the chinese wine but uh, i read more and more articles about the chinese uh, red wines mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah china is producing uh, more and more wine itself thanks for watching this video you can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one